Sarah, sure, tell me a little bit about this today, how this came about. Well, I first heard about Hunter when I read something on a Facebook page about his accident, and it was very close to where I live in Legends Ranch, and it just seemed so devastating for such a, a young boy to go through something so traumatic. So I met him one day, this is quite some time ago, over a year ago, and he told me that he wanted to be a police officer. So as Shara does, I start thinking, and then I decided I would make him a police officer for the day. And before I knew it, we had this huge event, which was just amazing, absolutely amazing. And to see him smile at the end of the day, that was my goal. Okay. So mission accomplished. And spell your first and last name. Shara, S-H-A-R-A, Cote, C-O-T-E. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Rand Henderson, R-A-N-D, H-E-N-D-E-R-S-O-N, Captain, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Then what you get today? We had a great event organized by Paul Cote and family of Hunter Hayes. They, Hunter was a victim of a um, car wreck about five years ago. And it's been five years later, and it's always been his lifelong dream to be a police officer. So he was honored today with the help of Deputy Kim Christensen, and we did a officer for the day where he caught two bad guys. We had a, a mock trial that was set up. Uh, we did find the, def the defendants, both of them guilty, and they were sentenced to time in the county jail. Uh, Hunter was awarded two different um, honors today. One was officer of the day, and the other was for his uh, bravery and uh, apprehending the felons. So it was really great. We got a beautiful cake for him and lots of gifts, and uh, it was great to see him go to that great big smile. Uh, what's your name? Audrey. Audrey, how many, last name? Hayes. Hayes. Mm -hmm. Audrey, tell me about your son, what happened, and what brought up all this on, I mean, uh, the accident and such. Tell me a little bit about that and his rehab. Um, he was run over by a car in our neighborhood and um, ended up going to the hospital. He was in ICU for three days. He was on a breather for three days, intubated. Um, ended up staying an ex extended amount of time. He was there for 10 days. What about uh, on the scene? I mean, when it first happened, they said he, they didn't think he was gonna make it that first day. No, they did not. Tell me a little bit about that. He was, um, he was underneath the car and his legs were twisted up underneath. The axle, um, the muffler had come underneath and burned a hole in his his shoulder. So um, it actually cauterized some of the the veins. So he was he was okay, but it came inches away from a main artery, is what they told us. And what about the recovery? What did it take to recover? I mean, uh, about five years ago, what, what yeah. kind of recovery process was it? Was, it was long. It's still. I mean, he's still you know, has things that bother him, but um, he had to go to therapy and I couldn't get him to go to therapy. He didn't want to go. So um, I had a friend of mine that was taking boxing lessons at uh, pound for pound boxing. And so we went and talked to Antonio Flores about it and asked him if, you know, he had any ideas. And so he invited Hunter up to take some classes. And so within about five, ten minutes, he had him swinging yeah. his left arm like there was nothing. Yeah, what about the physical therapy of the doctors? What kind of luck did they have? Um, not very good. Tell me about that. <laughs> he, he didn't want to go. He didn't like it. Um, kept telling me how bad it hurt him. And, now this um, was tell me, tell me, the doctors or what? No. Uh, it was one of his physical therapists that he didn't, he didn't enjoy it, didn't want to go, and it was it felt like um, clinical. It wasn't fun for him. He didn't want to go. So we ended up getting him to move his arm because of Antonio working with him. So it was really, we were very thankful for sure. And how's he doing now? What's... He's great. He's great now. He's really good. Now he was always, tell me a little bit about him wanting to be a police officer. Tell me, elaborate on that. Um, well, his dad is the one who actually pulled him out from underneath the car. He's an HFD um, firefighter. So he's actually the one who pulled him out. But he's been around fire trucks, he's been around the fire station, and he could care less about any of that stuff. He would much rather be a police officer. Yeah, so they get to carry guns. That's why he liked that. He what? 
<laughs> they get to carry guns and handcuff people. That's what he's always said. He likes that better. <laughs> First, Antonio, you're, you're, what, what is your name again? Antonio Flores. Antonio, and what do you have a gym? Yes, I'm the owner of uh, Pound for Pound Boxing. Tell me a little bit about Hunter, how you came in contact with him, and I uh, understand you kind of made some progress with him. Yeah, I um, uh, knew Audrey through a friend of hers, and uh, I was running my gym, and um, she uh, came to me and told me about Hunter, the, uh, the problem he was having, not being able to move his arm and stuff like that. And I told her to bring him by because I. I'd, an idea of how I can get them to work with them. Um, I'm pretty good with kids, and I have four boys of my own, and uh, have, I usually have choreographed um, combinations that I use, and uh, play with the kids a lot and stuff like that, and make them move. And uh, you know, he, he's, he was a young kid at the time. I figured, you know, getting to play with them and stuff like that, get them to open up and. Uh, we were personal with him, it would work. And, uh, and it did, I, I had him, uh, at first he was real shy, didn't really want to talk, didn't want, really want me touching him or anything like that. But uh, I got him to open up a little bit by throwing some combinations and um, actually just moving his head. I made him do some boxing movements on how to avoid punches. And then that just changed everything for him. He opened up and uh, after that, he just, he did whatever I asked him to do. Pretty much loosen that shoulder and t start using that shoulder and everything? Yeah, I was just trying to get him not to think about it. I was thinking about having him uh, just uh, concentrate on what I wanted him to do instead of him having to concentrate what he needed to do. So when I got that and I had him move, start moving his head out of the way, I was like, all right, I'm going to throw a punch at you and I want you to move your head. And it moved his head and then I, uh, then uh, once I got him to move his head, everything else opened up and he was able to start moving his arm. I, my main goal was to get him to take his mind off of having to use that arm and just start opening up and play a little bit. Well, it worked. Yeah, it did, it did. And I'm, uh, I'm uh, pretty excited that he even remembered who I was. And uh, um, it's, a, it's a great fun that I had an impact on his life. All right, appreciate it. Taking innocent people to jail. Right. They gonna have armored personnel carriers coming into your neighborhood next. I didn't do anything wrong. We're being set up. We're innocent. We're innocent. We, we have all the evidence we need. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Did you get the whole night? Very nice to meet you, buddy. Did you have a good day so far? Yeah. Yeah? It's like we didn't get to finish lunch because. Duty call, huh? Yeah. Friend. You don't have a badge on. He, he has one. He didn't. You want to wear one of these? Oh, his is nicer. You want to wear a badge like that? We can pin it on your shirt. You can say no. You, you want, want to just it, take it with you? You want to put it in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it on you? No, I got it. You got it? You sure? Don't pick, don't prick yourself now. I will. All right. Oh, you've done it a bunch. Okay, leave the ring. I wish I would have known that. Yeah. Uh oh, What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? This is all there. Oh, it's the bottom. I need the Hershey bars as well. There's a wrapper already in there, right? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's already eaten. There's a wrapper. What? Hey. It's happy eaten. Can't eat that. Happy eaten. Can't eat that. Hey, Chance, can you eat that? No. Yeah, but no, I was talking about oh the wrapper. I get the chocolate. Isn't it? What's in there? Um, happy the meals food? and then so many Hershey bars. Oh, my God. So many? All the rest is. Is this free food? <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me see. That's a good job. First we investigate and then we eat. Oh. Yeah, you want to see them? They're in the kitchen. Good, good. Y'all don't eat the evidence now. You can't yeah, eat no. the evidence yet. Don't eat the evidence yet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like, Ooh. you can eat some yeah, right right here. Here. Really edible. <laughs> what if it said that on there? It's like, stop right here. Because yeah. that's what I would have. All rise. The Honorable Judge Dredd presiding over court. Thank you. Please be seated.
personal matter uh, against the two defendants, Robin Banks and Anna Fender. Would you please stand? Officer Hayes and his partner, Jesse Christensen, you have been charged with the offense of theft for stealing several hamburgers from a local restaurant. Do you understand the nature of the charges against you? Yes, sir. And how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Please be seated. Ms. Fender, you have also been arrested by Officer Hayes and his partner, Deputy Christensen. You have been charged with the offense of theft for stealing several chocolate bars. How do you plead? Not guilty. Uh, Sarah, uh, yeah. and my partner, Debbie Hayes, were eating a bite of lunch, and uh, this, this lady ran in saying that someone had stole her Happy Meals and her chocolate bars, gave us a description of the suspects, uh, told us which way they had ran off with her food. We went and searched the area. We found these two at a picnic table consuming Happy Meals and chocolate bars. When we approached them, they tried to hide their face. We had, we had flyers. They've been doing this since Halloween. Really? All right, so you've had other complaints on them? Yes, sir. Happy Meal bags. multiple the bag is full of chocolate bars all right so, so the chocolate was actually stolen from from europe are there other with us okay i sure do all right have a seat ma'am so can you describe to me today what happened i just came out of mcdonald's i had my bag of chocolates and my Happy Meals, and my special chocolates too. Now I can't make a beam. They came up behind me and they took my food. That's a lie, Your Honor. She ain't ever seen us. All right. You have to be quiet in just a second. <laughs> Is my special chocolates in there? There's a bunch of special chocolates in there. Can I look? I need my special chocolates. Would that be one of them? No. You deserve it. I hope you rock on support. You evil man. You don't know me. I'm gonna sit right next to her. Yeah? And what's what's that deputy's name? Uh, Deputy Hunter. Uh, he's, a, he's a good young man. Yeah? Sure. And Deputy Hunter, did you have anything that you wanted to add? Did you, did you, did you help apprehend these criminals? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, there you go. All right. You have any defenses? Officer, and I know he arrested us, but he was really nice, and, and I think I'll learn my lesson from this judge. I really don't want to go to jail. And he's pretty good for such an itty bitty cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, the court will take into consideration your comments about Officer Hayes, and we appreciate his service as well. Uh, hopefully the jury will take that into account in assessing your punishment. If there's guilt in the above charged crimes, I will find you guilty and I will assess your punishment at one year in the county jail. Yeah! Come with me. I'm going to jail. I'm going to go to jail. Bye. Hope you got a good toilet where you're going. Deputy Hayes, would you mind come up front, coming up front, please? You want to come up with your mom? Yeah. Well, this is one of the first awards that we want to give you today. It reads, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office proudly presents this award to Hunter, Hunter Hayes for exceptional bravery in demonstrating uncommon courage in a dangerous and difficult situation on this Sunday, November 23rd, 2014. There's one for you. And because you did such a good job, one is not enough. So our second award 
is from also from the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. We hereby acknowledge that Hunter, Hay Hunter Hayes as the hero of the day in recognition of outstanding assistance given to law enforcement and the community this Sunday, November 23rd. Congratulations. And of course, because you're 10 years old, you need cool stuff. So here's, here's a gift on our behalf as well. And there's some goodies in there that you might find kind of cool. All right, Captain. Well yeah. done. Captain, one other thing. One more. You don't need the evidence anymore, do you? No. You like chocolate bars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think uh, I think we should make the determination that the evidence should be distributed among all the kids in the room. Yes. You agree? Yes. You're, you're the cop for the day. Do you agree with that? Yeah. All right. It's done. <laughs> He would love that. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, all <laughs> <laughs> Let me stand next to your partner, Q. Oh, okay. Let me stand next to my partner. Oh, that you rock guy was pretty awesome in the picture. <laughs> oh. Scoot it out of it. No, put it over there. Oh, it's pretty awesome. You rock. There you go. <laughs> Actually, here we go. On three. Oh, oh. oh. That's a couple things. Oh, that's a chocolate. Oh, that's a good one. Come back. I'll be here for you, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> Candy bars for all the time? Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, you want one bag? One, one bag chance? Yeah, I'll just get two candy bars. That's all I want. That's how much I really eat a day. Thank you for being my friend. This is a day. Who's that? My Don't be afraid of the boxer. Aim towards Hunter. There we go. That is awesome. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, you don't. You want to go to yourself. Okay. Where are you going to go? Are you going to sit in front of the chair? Or sit right here? Am I here? Let's dance! Yeah. 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 Please stop! Woohoo! That's a bunch of chocolate. That's a bunch of chocolate. Okay, it's so adorable. Yes! <laughs>